Filling an 18-foot-long cylindrical chamber are hardy crops of tomatoes, strawberries, and sweet potatoes, a green and tangible demonstration of how a lunar greenhouse could sustain long-term human presence on the moon. We want to demonstrate uh, uh, what it would be like to live on the moon uh, using this technology for uh, uh, air revitalization for life support. Built in a laboratory surrounded by the dusty farmland of the University of Arizona's Agricultural Center, the Lunar Greenhouse prototype is designed for three purposes, water recycling, air revitalization, and food production. That would enable the next great leap in space exploration, a scientific base on the moon. The chamber completely collapses so that it can fit on a rocket, and that's how it's going to get to the moon. Air is revitalized inside a chamber like this uh, by the plants. So as an astronaut, you would be breathing out carbon dioxide, and the plants would take up that CO2 and, uh, uh, through photosynthesis, liberate oxygen. And then you, as an astronaut, would breathe in that oxygen, and that completes the cycle. Taking concepts honed at the team's experimental greenhouse at the South Pole, the Lunar Greenhouse is designed to provide half of the food for a lunar crew and 100% of the necessary air, water, and waste recycling. This isn't a complete system for life support. It, it complements other forms of life support that are already in existence. In fact, it extends uh, uh, the amount of time that you would have those resources available. Here's how it works. Once astronauts land on the moon, their urine would be fed into a compost unit and the condensation collected for gray water that is mixed with nutrients and used to grow the plants. The plants then transfer the water into the greenhouse atmosphere, where it is condensed and collected to provide clean water for the crew. The lunar greenhouse could generate 47 liters of water a day. By recycling the materials you need to live, uh, you're saving the materials you had to take along with you. For life support. The team is pushing for a NASA grant to continue the research. Without funding, the project will be shut down. Though it funded such research in the past, NASA is the only one of the world space agencies without an ongoing bioregenerative life support system program. But without such a life support system, a new era of manned spaceflight to the moon isn't possible. We are ideally positioned to help produce food in space when we go to a moon base or a Mars base. Our engineers and our plant scientists understand how to grow plants to maturity to get a quality product, feed people. The lunar greenhouse experiments at CEAC bring us closer to the day when space travelers can truly become part of a full service artificial ecosystem that purifies their water, oxygenates the air, and provides healthy, fresh food. It's leading edge, it's critical work being done so that we can feed people on the earth in some arid regions or take it to extremes, feed people when they're on the moon doing science and living.